So I've been using the 16 inch and 14 inch MacBook Pros for a little while now and I think it's time for us to dive into the notch because it's got a few little quirks. So I'm going to show you in this video how the notch works and some of its little quirks behind it. So let's just get into this video. So as you can see, I am just using the 16 inch just to kind of show you at its full glory about the notch. Now, if you have a look on the top here, you can see that there's a quite a few desktop applications okay and as you can see it runs right up until the notch and then on this side we have obviously the finder now i've got a few programs to test this with but what i'll do is i'll show you what it's like normally so right now we are on the home screen and as you can see this is what the notch with a standard background looks like okay so it's very prominent as you can see and you can decide whether you like it or not uh, but it does have some functionality so first of all underneath this notch is a 16 by 10 aspect ratio so what does that mean well all previous macbooks that has pretty much ever existed has been this aspect ratio okay now this bit on the top is actually extra okay so it's actually taller than a 16 by 10 aspect ratio so you're not losing any of the aspect ratio and display on the notch so for example on here i've actually got the 16 inch and this only the 16 by 9, uh, 10 area, which is from this corner over here to this bottom corner over here, this 16 by 10 area is actually bigger than the previous 16 inch. So not only is that section bigger than the previous model, but you've also got this added section on top of the notch. Okay, so there is some reasoning and functionality behind this. Okay, as you can see, we've got the application settings right over here. So file, whatever it may be. So right now we're in Finder, but it could be whatever. And then we have some of our application icons right over here. So we've got like Hidden Me, Tooth Fairy, M Installer, Clean My Mac X, whatever it may be, you know, Wi-Fi battery that's all gonna be typically on the right hand side. When we let's say open up an application like Safari, as you can see, it shows all of the settings right over here. Now, when we enter full screen mode, as you can see, it's now showing it right over here. It's blacked out and you can't even see the notch. Like if you didn't know that this computer had a notch, looking at this screen right now, you couldn't tell that there is a notch, which is great. However, if I move my mouse behind the, the notch, as you can see, it doesn't, my mouse has now completely disappeared. You don't know where it is, but it's obviously hidden behind the notch. Now, if we exit out of that and let's open up uh, DaVinci Resolve, as you can see, DaVinci Resolve has a lot more options. So what does it do? It moves over the applications and basically they disappear, as you can see. And if I go in and try to see where those icons have disappeared, well, it's it's just not possible. Like I, I, I actually can't see where the rest of the icons are. So I don't know where M Installer is. I have no idea where the Tooth Fairy app that I normally have, I, it's, it's all gone from the top of that screen. So let's minimize that and let's minimize that and then click and there you go, it is now back. But here's the weird thing. What if I told you that not that these aren't the only applications that I'm running? So if I go ahead and I click quit on there, can you see I actually had another one? Let's go ahead and quit this one. Oh. And look, there you go, there's another one. Let's quit that. And now it's all spread out. If I go and open up an application, so right now we have got Hidden Me right over here, and we've got the maximum, I believe to be, the maximum amount of icons that we can have on the right hand side, which is 17, okay? Now watch what happens when I want to now have an 18th application on that section of the menu bar. So I've just opened up Tech Sniper and it looks like it's not opened, which has confused me many, many times. But if I go ahead and quit this, as you can, as you can see, Tech Sniper is actually open, which is really, really odd. And the funny thing is, is that I can't see this unless if I either disallow some of these menu bar icons or 
I closed down some of these menu bar icons, which isn't ideal. So I wish that there was a way of being able to collapse all of this within uh, Mac OS. Now there is an application called Vanilla, which actually allows you to hide the menu bar icons, which by the way, is free of charge. So you can use this application to hide the menu bar icons. And as you can see, it is now compatible with the Max with the notch. So as you can see with vanilla, we've got a few different options. So let me completely remove menu bar icons. So this will actually remove any menu bar icons that are sometimes quite persistent and you can't remove them, but and you want to remove them, but that means also closing down the application, which you don't want to do. So this is fantastic. Now I've got the pro option. So the pro option allows me to automatically hide icons again after five seconds. And then you can also start vanilla when you log in. So what you do is see this little dot right over here. It's very, very small, but what you want to do is you want to press command and then you want to drag over the items that you typically, you know, want still here, but you don't want to see on a constant basis. So for me, I want to drag a couple of these over. Then what you want to do is, is you want to exit out of that. And then as you can see, now we have access to our desktop icons or our menu bar icons, I should say. So I wish Apple actually implemented this natively. And it's a little bit annoying that I have to, well, I don't have to pay for the pro version, obviously, because you most of these features do exist in the uh, free version. But, uh, and, and to be honest, I did pay for this app like ages ago because I had so many to start with, but it's a really nice feature that allows me to just hide all of this but there is something interesting about it. As you can see, it's showing all of the menu bar icons, which is fine. However, it actually doesn't show all of them. So here's the weird thing, right? So if I click quit, can you see it's now revealing a couple more? Okay, so again, let me go ahead and quit this and then go back. See, it's now spreading out, but the funny thing is, is I don't actually if I quit this, can you see it's actually not enabled this icon? So there is still some issues with even using vanilla. So if you don't like having this many icons, that's absolutely fine. But the problem is, is that you need to make sure that you add those icons uh, beforehand, because if you start vanilla, as you can see, it doesn't show that particular icon. So I should have uh, hidden me right over here. But if I go ahead and quit that, see now hidden me is right over here, but it wasn't showing in vanilla. So there's still some quirks behind it. So it's not quite as perfect as it can be. And this is why I think Mac OS should have a built in application that does that for you. Because yeah, like I said, it's not showing all of the applications. But anyway, Let's say you don't have as many applications open as I do, and this is not really gonna be a concern for you, but you really wish that you could turn this off or away. Now, there are two ways that you can configure this. So you wanna go into the settings menu and then click on the dock and menu bar option. Now see at the bottom over here, it says automatically hide and show menu bar on desktop. And then the second option says automatically hide and show the menu bar on full screen. So right now, if we go onto Safari and we maximize it, as you can see, it's not blacking out the top bar. And then if we minimize it, as you can see, it's still showing. But if we go ahead and click the top option, Firstly, it's got rid of that menu bar. However, it's still not really solved the issue behind, uh, well, with deleting the notch. But if you tick this option right over here, the second option, if we go again into Safari and we go into full screen mode, now it's completely gone. However, when I move my uh, mouse up there, it reveals again, which isn't so bad because most of your experience is gonna be, you know, sort of down here rather than up here. But if you want this same sort of experience in the sort of non full screen mode, what you can do is, is you can actually download and install this application called Top Notch, okay? And what this does is if I just click it right now, it now enables 
a top bar to be blacked out, which is, uh, I think, in my opinion, actually looks a little bit less distracting to the eye. Um, and I think could be a fantastic solution for a lot of you. And this is a free application. Like you can literally just download it. And as you can see, it says brought to you by the CleanShot app, which I funnily enough do actually have as well. So I really do trust the, uh, the guys behind it as well, because uh, I've been using their stuff for a, a little while now. So uh, yeah, it's not just some sort of uh, unknown developer or anything like this that has developed this. This is someone that I would consider trustworthy. But that's it regarding the notch. As you can see, it's it's good and it definitely adds to the experience, but there's definitely some things that take away from the experience. So in my opinion, I think Apple should implement some kind of scroll feature to the menu bar so that you can view some of the other icons or alternatively, similar to like how, you know, on your Chrome browser and stuff like that, you have a little square icon or whatever, or a puzzle icon where you can just click on it and then it reveals all the other app extensions or Chrome extensions that you have. I think there should be something similar here because unfortunately it doesn't uh, seem to sort of migrate to another section like in control center or something like that. So anyway, that was a bit of a longish video just on the notch, but I just thought it was worth you knowing about it because it is something that has kind of frustrated me because every time I've opened up an application, sometimes I'll go, oh, it's not running, but actually it is. I just have too many menu bar icons running at the same time, which again, might not be a problem for you guys, but again, if you are a professional, typically, you know, you might have quite a few of these applications running all at the same time, uh, like, like, like I do. So yeah, you might run into this issue. So just be aware for those power users and heavy users. But anyway, that's it for today's video. Leave a comment down below if you've gained something out of this video. And also let me know if you've experienced this or if this worries you or if this really doesn't bother you, then again, just leave a comment down below. If you've enjoyed this video, then please make sure to hit that like button and also make sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get updated. And if you want to see more videos from me right now, you guys know what to do. There are two videos right over here. Go ahead, click it. You'll absolutely enjoy them. Anyway, look after yourselves and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.